now, Suspense. Your host is Autolite, world's largest independent manufacturer of automotive electrical equipment. Autolite makes over 400 products for cars, trucks, tractors, airplanes, and boats in 28 plants from coast to coast. Autolite serves the greatest names in the industry. Its products include recording and dial indicating thermometers, wire and cable, distributors, coils, and a complete line of ignition engineered standard and resistor type spark plugs. Autolite also makes starting motor armatures, starting motors, generators, voltage regulators, and all types of batteries, including the famous Autolite Stay Full, the battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. So from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And now, Autolite and its 98,000 dealers everywhere present Suspense. Shaley? Here it is, Courtney. The Blue Panther, eh? We're getting worried about you, Shaley. You're late. My plane getting to Frisco was late. And on the way back at the Chicago airport, I caught a couple of guys watching me. So I switched planes just to be safe. First time I ever played bodyguard to a painting. Hmm. Well, you understand, of course, Shaley, that the Blue Panther is not our property. It does not belong to the gallery. It's the property of the uh, private collector whom you met in San Francisco. So? So, we're going to retain your services as private detective until uh, after the pre-showing in the general exhibit. Then you will fly the Blue Panther back to San Francisco. In other words, this is my baby right through. Precisely. Okay. But, uh, just one thing. Yes? My fee. My dear Mr. Shaley, the Blue Panther is a collector's item and irreplaceable. We're not going to quibble about your fee. How about this uh, pre-showing? Mm. When's that? Well, uh, that is going to take place tomorrow afternoon by special invitation only. You see, uh, there's going to be a very select group and you won't need to be there. The general exhibition will begin the day after tomorrow at 10 in the morning. Ah. Oh. That's what I've been playing nursemaid to. Huh? <laughs> yes, yeah, Shirley. You like it? You, uh, want my honest opinion? No, of course. <sighs> it's divine! Isn't it? It's divine! Oh, it's divine, Mr. Courtney. Oh, you like it, Ms. Uh, my dear Baroness. Oh, such texture, such vitality. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a coup for your gallery. It's a triumph. Oh, thank you so very much. Au revoir, Baroness. Au revoir. Au revoir. 
Oh, congratulations, Courtney. Oh, how are you, Bannerman? Well, as an artist yourself, you would appreciate a work like this. As an artist myself, it only makes me more aware of my own limitations. <laughs> it's magnificent. Uh, someday I hope to be able to paint like that. <laughs> but tell me, Courtney, how did you ever talk Oka's engine into loaning you that? Well, my dear Bannerman, you know these private collectors. You, you flatter them. You tell them that the world deserves to see the Blue Panther, and with these gentle powers of persuasion... <laughs> Miss Sandy. Good afternoon, Walt. Nice to see you at the gallery Thank again. Thank you, Walt. I've been away too long. Oh, Edward, the invitation. Where can I find Mr. Courtney? My dear Miss Standish, this is a wonderful surprise. It's so nice to see you again, Mr. Oh, Courtney. Oh, thank you. One of our most discerning clients, and you haven't visited our galleries in months. Uh, well, it's just that I've been traveling. Oh, I know. I've seen your photographs in all the newspapers. Paris, Venice, Rome. There it is. Isn't it superb? Perfectly wonderful. So, this is the Blue Panther, eh? Oh, oh, Mr. Uh, Courtney, this is a friend of mine, Mr. Malloy, Mr. Edward Malloy. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Malloy? How do you do? Uh, how much is it worth? Oh, it isn't for sale, Mr. Malloy. Oh, everything's for sale at a price. How much? <laughs> well, I'm afraid I didn't make myself quite clear, Mr. Malloy. You see, the Blue Panther is not our property. It belongs to a private collector who wouldn't sell it at any price. <laughs> You'll have to forgive Mr. Malloy. He's an expert at so many things, but, uh, but I... Oh, yes, I quite understand, Miss Standish. <laughs> well, won't you go out on the terrace and have a drink? Thank you. Come along, Edward. <laughs> Edward, when are you going to learn you can't buy everything with money? Now, Marjorie, darling, money bought this, didn't it? And this. And it's going to buy you a wedding ring, too. Do you enjoy being a bore? Sometimes. Why, you think I upset him? You didn't make me feel very comfortable. Well, after all, Margie, dear, let's be practical. Your father left you two million. Two million in debt. But you've got what I want. Class. And I'm willing to pay. Now, where's a drink? Quite all right. My necklace. Edward! Edward! Edward, I've been wrong! What? I was just standing there. Miss Sandy, what on at this hand? You've been robbed, you fool. Robbed. Diamond sunburst. He must have grabbed it off my neck. Right. Oh, I don't Sandy, I'm dreadfully sorry this happened. Now we're going to make every attempt. Well, to don't just stand there. That sunburst cost me plenty. Why don't you call the police? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Now, please, please. How much more just was one moment. Sure. We're standing. What happened? I was standing right here. Right here. What? Come here. Look. Oh, no. Standish, I assure you the Van Cleek Galleries will do everything in its power to recover your jewels. Thank you, Mr. Courtney. We'll keep in constant touch with you. Good night. Yes, good night. Is that uh, Marjorie Standish? Yes, and it's about time you got here, Shaley. I persuaded Miss Standish not to call the police to give us another day. Bringing the police into this would only give us bad publicity that we don't want. Oh, if this breaks into the newspapers, the reputation of our gallery is ruined. We can never borrow another painting. There's a crowd here. A lot of people must know it's missing. No, they don't know. I blocked off the exhibit and canceled the pre-showing. Shirley, this is your responsibility. I engaged you to protect that painting. Ah, uh, you told me I didn't have to be here. I'm not interested in what I told you. Look, I want you to find that painting, and I want it back here by tomorrow morning in time for the general exhibition. If you don't, it's All a... right, all right. Now, don't get excited. I'm not excited. You just can't seem to understand. Now, wait a minute. Doesn't matter. Now, look, Courtney. 
Maybe I don't know a thing about art, but I do know about crooks. I just leave that end to me. Oh, well, then do something. It'll take a lot of doing, Courtney. Well, anyway, one thing's plain. This was a real buddy-buddy gimmick, but cute, very cute. The same crook who stole that painting was working with a crook who snatched the diamond sunburst. Oh, we don't care about the sunburst. I know, I know. There's just one thing I've got to know before I start. What is it? If I make a contact, and if you want to keep this whole thing quiet, I may have to pay off. Buy back the Blue Panther. How much? Well, now, we wouldn't like to get involved. Hello, quit storing. There isn't much time. We can't pussyfoot now. How much? <sighs> well, we would be willing to go as high as 15000 to get back the Blue Panther. Now we're in business. Hello. What is it? The Blue Pan... Who is this speaking? I tell you... I'll handle this. Hello, this is Shaley, Ben Shaley, private investigator. Put me back with Courtney. It's about the Blue Panther you talk to me. I'm in charge. Okay, start talking. Where do we meet? Boulevard Gym in a half hour. Just ask for Lenny. Lenny? Hmm? I'll be seeing you, Courtney. And, uh... Better stick around and wait. I may need a lot of money in a hurry. come here to talk about pugs. Let's talk about paintings. Okay. How did you know I uh, wouldn't bring a flock of cops? Cops? Why? I'm just doing you a favor. Besides, Courtney's scared to death about this kind of publicity, and you know it. Just as simple as that, huh? Just as simple as that. Okay. Let's get to the point. Now, you've got this blue pen. I haven't got it. Who has? A friend of a friend of a friend. When can your friend deliver it? Tomorrow morning, if he thinks the price is right. How high is right? Fifteen thousand dollars and no questions asked. Shooting pretty high, isn't he? He? Your friend. Just what the traffic will bear. You see, I already called Courtney to find out how much he paid. Where can I pick it up? Right here. Tomorrow morning, about 9 a.m. Oh, and uh, bring the cash. I'd like to do the gallery a little favor and have the painting there in time to go on exhibition. You know how it is, Shaley. Yeah, I know. I'll be seeing you, my boy. Shaley? There's no Shaley here. You Shaley? That's right. Shelly talking. I understand you're interested in the Blue Panther, Mr. Shelly. I could be, but uh, I didn't get the name. It's Smith. I see. Now, uh, how did you know I was here? That's a long story. Do you want the Blue Panther, don't you? I do, but uh, I just made a deal. Yeah, I know. How much did Mr. Malloy want? 
Who? Mr. Malloy. Fifteen thousand in delivery tomorrow morning. I'll do better. Ten thousand delivery tonight. Interested? Why shouldn't I be? It's a better deal. I see you in now, Mr. Shaley. There ain't no better. Hi there. This is Rex Marshall for Autolite. We'll get back to our suspense story in just a moment. Say, while we take a brief intermission, I'd like to show you one of our little cartoon stories. Now, this particular one concerns the celebrated case of Jake the Jip. It all began when Jake went on the lamb with the loot. Now, of course, what he did was jump into his getaway car, start it up, and away he went. Ah, but Clancy the cop was ready to go right after him. Uh-oh, but look what happened. Clancy got caught. Yes, sir, caught short with a dry, dead battery. And, of course, that's no way for a cop to get ahead. Well, Clancy never did catch the crook, but after that, he did catch on mighty fast to the fact that extreme loss of water is one of the major causes of battery failure. And, of course, what he should have had, and you should too, is an Autolite Stay Full battery, the famous battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. In fact, if you'll just take a look, I'd like to show you why that's true. You see, in the ordinary battery, small particles keep flaking off the positive plates. So the ordinary battery has to have a large space in the bottom of the case to hold those particles. Otherwise, they'll get together and short-circuit the plates, and the battery's dead. But there's a big difference in the new Autolite Stay Full battery. Every positive plate has a fiberglass retaining mat protecting it, holding the active materials in place to reduce that flaking. You see, there's the fiberglass, the feature that gives such real advantages to the Autolite Stay Full battery. Now, while the ordinary battery requires this much extra space below the plates, the Autolite Stay Full doesn't need all that extra space, so we use it to advantage by putting it up above. Well, with both batteries filled to capacity, you can see the solution in the ordinary battery barely covers those all-important plates. But in the Autolite Stay Full, there's over three times as much liquid reserve for over three times the protection. Well, now, as water evaporates in the ordinary battery, parts of the plates are left exposed and partially inactive. But when the same amount of water evaporates from the Autolite Stay Full battery, the plates are fully protected and still active. And that's why your Autolite Stay Full battery needs water only three times a year in normal car use. And you know, friends, it's important to remember that the Autolite Stay Full gives longer life in tests conducted according to accepted life cycle standards. Believe me, your money just can't buy a better battery. Why don't you pay a visit soon to your neighborhood Autolite battery dealer? He services all makes of batteries, and if you need a replacement, you'll have an Autolite Stay Full battery for your car. To quickly learn his location, simply uh, pick up the telephone, call Western Union by number, and ask for Operator 25, please. That's right. Call me and I'll gladly tell you the name of your nearest Autolite battery dealer. That's Western Union, Operator 25. And remember... From bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. second act of The Blue Panther. Miss Standish. So you're Miss Smith. Now I've seen everything. So uh, you were part of this act too. Naturally. Drink. Okay. We, uh, we alone? Of course.
You're a very suspicious man, Mr. Shaley. Apparently, you have no faith in what anyone tells you. If I did, I'd starve to death. Now, let me get a few things straight. By all means. You and Malloy and Lenny pull this Blue Panther heist together. You with a decoy. But this thing... Excellent, Mr. Shaley. The only question is, Miss Smith, who's got the painting? A man named Jones. I see. Jones. Only, uh, one thing bothers me, Miss Smith. What's bothering you, Mr. Shaley? Why are you double-crossing Malloy? Well, let's just say, um, for personal reasons. Okay. Now, about this Blue Panther, you got it? No, no, I told you I didn't. And who has? Jones. Oh, I forgot, it's good old Jones again. Now, uh, how do I get to meet him? You produce the cash, Mr. Shaley. Ten thousand dollars. After that, I'll pick up the phone and call Mr. Jo- All right, Margie, dear, where's that double cross I hired to lift the painting? I don't know. Say that again, see how foolish it sounds. We dropped by his apartment to pick up the Blue Panther, but he doesn't live there anymore. He's hiding out somewhere with that picture. Where? I told you, I don't know. Here we go again. Same old broken record. Lenny. Yeah? Maybe she'll listen to you. <laughs> All right, Margie, dear. Now let's start from the beginning. Where's that phony you fell for? He's at his studio. The fine arts building. Oh, Lenny, keep an eye on him till we get back. All right. The kid throws a left, and a right, and another left, and another right. Now they're mixing it in the corner. The kid and Rocky Montana. And now the rock connects with a hard right. A right cross and staggers the kid. And now it's a left hook on the kid's chin. Another right cross, and another hook. The kid staggers. He can't protect himself. And there it is, a solid right to the chin by the rock. And the kid is down. He's down. The referee is coming. One. Come on, you make a job. Where did they go, Lenny? They're, they're looking for a guy named Bannerman. Your dress, you stumble bum, before I bash your brains in. Why not, building? Thanks, Buster. Thanks for everything. Ladies and gentlemen, this was one of the greatest fights that ever was. it good. It's Marjorie. All right, man. Inside. Now, let's have that painting. Very nice, Bannerman. Very nice. I didn't figure you and Marjorie here'd fall for each other and try to cash in at my expense. How could you throw me over for a phony like this? It was easier than you think. What are you going to do with that? Collect, naturally. From Shaley? Shaley? I'm doing business direct with Courtney. 15,000 and no questions asked. Shaley can whistle.
Courtney was in his office. Courtney! Courtney! Here it is, Courtney. It was in Bannerman's studio. I had a tough time getting it, but it won't cost the gallery a dime. <laughs> oh, well, I'm afraid you made a little mistake, Shaley. What do you mean? There is the real Blue Panther. The real Blue Panther? Yes. And well, what's this? Just a copy and a very bad one. No, I'm afraid, Shaley, that uh, Mr. Bannerman made a very foolish man out of you. Bannerman? Yes. He was here just a few moments ago, and I sold him the genuine Blue Panther. Yes, I gave him $15,000 in cash, in very large bills. And Bannerman painted that? Yes, yes, I think he did. Some time ago, probably copied it from a reproduction. You see, he wanted to palm this off on Malloy. He knew that Malloy didn't know anything about art, and unfortunately, neither did you. You were both, as you would say, uh, suckers. Now, he wanted to palm off the copy for $15,000 and then hold me up for an additional $15,000 on the real Blue Panther. Yeah. So it seems... Yes, unfortunately, Mr. Bannerman has no sense of ethics. He wanted to profit twice. <laughs> well, of course, I had no compunction about the money I gave him. What do you mean? I took the trouble to mark the bills. From now on, Mr. Bannerman probably will be painting from his studio in Sing Sing. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, Shane. Uh, your check for this uh, job will be in the mail in the morning, and I suggest that you invest part of it in a good elementary course in art appreciation. Good night, Shane. Come to the end of another story of suspense brought to you by Autolite and its 98,000 dealers. Before we say goodnight, I'd like to remind you drivers that the Autolite Stay Full is the famous battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. Now, to quickly learn the location of your nearest Autolite battery dealer, simply call Western Union by number and ask for Operator 25, please. I'm Operator 25. Call me and I'll gladly tell you the name of your nearest Autolite battery dealer. That's Western Union, Operator 25. And remember... From bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. will be The Man Who Had Seven Hours, a story well calculated to keep you in suspense. Exciting Man Against Crime on the CBS television network.